Hello folks, this is Mike and this is my new exercise machine. Now this is the Total Gym Model XL7. Today's video will be an unboxing and setup guide. I'm going to show you the proper and safe way to put the machine up and take it down. I'm also going to show you how to install the attachments, where they go, and what they do. <laughs> so let's get started. Now this is one of Total Gym's entry-level machines and I purchased it online for $399 and I will put a paid merchandising link in the video description if you want to check it out. First lay the crate on its back and cut off all the packing tape. And remember folks that the shipping weight here is 85 pounds. So to protect your back, get some help bringing this into your house. And now we'll turn it back over and cut off the packing straps. Now we'll take off the top and we're ready to unpack the machine. Everything is really packed tight in this box. There's a number of small packages and boxes that have to be opened and I won't make you watch me open them all. Take too much time. We'll take a look at them after they're unwrapped. The box comes with a mat for the machine to sit on and it's wrapped around as you can see uh, so let's get it out of the way. Okay. Before you can remove the plastic wrapping, you'll find that there are several more sets of accessories that are actually attached to the machine with uh, cable ties. So you'll need some scissors or whatnot to cut those off first. So next I'm going to stand it up on the mat. Then I'm going to walk it into position until I get it to the back end of the mat. And now we can carefully unfold it and lay it down flat. And before we go on, let's cut off all of this cardboard and styrofoam packing that's all over everything. And folks, let me take this opportunity to ask you to go below and like our video, subscribe to our channel, and ring that notification bell. So we'll take a look at what came in the box, and we'll start with the paperwork. You get an exercise guide, you get your owner's manual, a nutrition guide, a warranty card, and this is a $25 off coupon if you shop at TotalGym.com. You also get two exercise DVDs, uh, and I would recommend that you watch these before you uh, try to exercise. They're really pretty good. This is a C-Pen. This is a safety device, and this is a base and a flip chart. These go together, and this is, has all your exercises in it. And I'll show you how to install these and their relevance in a minute. I've laid out all the other attachments on top of the mat. And all of these come with the machine. You get the leg pulley accessory kit and a pair of dip bars. Ab crunch boards and press up bars. The wing attachments and a squat stand. So now let's set it up. Now first pull out the black pin on the bottom and then pull up the column with your other hand. You should hear it click and lock into place. Make sure you can see the end of the pin on the inside of the rail bracket. So now let's set the machine at the desired height. Now put your foot on the bottom crossbar. Pull out the red knob and lift to the level you're going to use and then release the knob. Now don't let go of it until you're sure it clicked and locked into place. Uh, otherwise, this could happen. And this is why it's best to wear shoes when you're doing this. Once you have it to the white level and you hear it click into place, use the large safety hitch pin that's attached to the pulley system. It should be inserted into the hole that's in the side of the height adjuster. And as you can see, it will not let it fall. Slip the safety C pin in the hole just below the height adjustment assembly. Now notice how the pin is oriented. This way it will not slip out. It may seem like overkill, but it's a backup safety device in case the hitch pin fails. The machine has 12 height levels, and the pulleys are designed to stay permanently attached to the machine. However, if you ever do need to remove them for some reason, they are simply held in place with a bolt and a nut. The flip chart base slips snugly into the top of the upright, with the name facing forward as shown. 
and then you simply insert the chart into the mounting holes on top of the base. To install the squat stand, you just simply drop it into the holes at the bottom end of the gym. The leg pulley accessory kit is, of course, for leg exercises. <laughs> the first step is to attach the bracket like so and insert the large 4 inch hitch pin to secure it to the column. Now mount the D-ring on the pulley and drop it on the bracket. Next remove the bottom pulley that's attached under the glide board and then hook the O-ring end of the pulley rope on the hook. Now we can put the boot on our foot like so and secure it with the buckle strap. Now on the other end of the pulley rope there's a snap and you can attach that to whichever of the three rings on the boot are appropriate for your exercise. Now you may have already noticed but there's a row of holes going down the outside rails of your gym and those are where you connect your attachment. And to connect them, we're going to use these. These are hitch pins. And you'll notice that there's a spring-loaded ball bearing at the end of the pin. And that keeps it from falling out. And the process is simple. You have this on the bottom. You just straddle the post and insert your pin. And that's all there is to it. Now let's install the press-up bars. Now their mounting bracket looks like this. They go in the pair of holes at the bottom of the machine. Next we'll install the dip bars. Slide the glide board back and forth until you can see the middle mounting hole. Lean against the glide board to support it and then attach the bar. And they should be removed after you do your dips because they're going to be in the way for just about everything else you do. The wing attachments go at the top of the machine. Now these foam pads were already installed on mine. Uh, but if for some reason yours aren't, you can simply wet the crossbars with soapy water and they should slip on pretty easily. This position is great for chin-ups, incline crunches, and leg pulls. But you can also experiment by turning these facing the opposite direction or even install them at the bottom of the machine. These are the ab crunch boards and you'll notice that they're a mirror image of each other and they're designed specifically to target your tummy muscles. They're shipped disassembled and the matching pieces are marked either right or left. I'm going to assemble the two left pieces first. The small end of the forearm rest should point toward the handle. Cut the bolts and the wrench free from the supplied hardware kit. So we'll start our screws, hand tighten, and then snug them up with a wrench. Or you can use your cordless drill and a 10 millimeter socket, much faster. Now we can install them on the pulley end of the machine with the handles facing inward. I use the second or third bolt hole from the end and just use your hitch pin like we did before to secure them. There we go. Now let's go over the procedure to take down the machine and it's pretty much a reverse of just setting it up. And I'll put the steps on the screen. But be careful during this process because it's easy to paint your fingers when you fold it. And it will stand by itself once it's folded, but it's very top heavy and can easily topple over. And I don't like the format. It won't stay put. And if the machine seems to lock up and won't fold, we'll jiggle the glide board a bit and it should free itself. Also, I've got an upcoming video on how to make a rolling storage cart for this machine that will also minimize the amount of lifting you will have to do. So be watching for that. Also comment and let me know how you handle storing your total gym. So now to wrap things up. The only thing I didn't like about the machine so far is that floor mat. So maybe in three or four months after I've had time to really use the machine and get used to it, I'll come back and do a user's review. So be sure to go below and subscribe and watch for that coming. Now that's going to conclude our video for today. So until next time, thanks for watching.